Hi everyone, back again. Um, I just wanted to share a traveler's notebook that I've made for a special friend for her birthday. Um, this is the first one I've made. I've done um, quite a few traveler's notebook inserts, but this is the first traveler's notebook that I've done and I don't want to give it away now, I love it. So um, I've done a, the cover in fabric. Um, it's fairly plain front and back and then I've just stitched um, a ruffle of the fabric that's actually lining the inside of it so I'll show you inside so that's the fabric on the inside there so I've just um, made the ruffle and sewn that on the front so it's um, quite pliable but still quite sturdy so it'll take a bit of um, knocking around throwing in the handbag whatever she decides to do with that um, and I've just added um, some pockets front and back and she's not so much a journaler but she's um, loves organizing um, being organized and planning things out ahead so I'm hoping that she'll be able to use them so my thought oh, she loves stationery so my thought process with this is that she can um, change her inserts um, to wherever or however she wants to use them so what I've done is I've used the same range of papers um, these are quite a strong sturdy cardstock as you can see um, so I've done the covers in all of that um, this these cards are from the same range um, if I can find the paper pad I'll let you know what it is um, so in here I've got four four notebooks and a this is actually a Webster's pages um, I'm sorry I don't know what they're actually called but it's like got the the sealed pencil case um, and inside I've just put um, beautiful rose gold pen and a couple of oversized paper clips she can use as bookmarks throughout just put a couple of um, journaling spots or tags she can use just my business card in there um, and a few more little journaling cards a bit of writing paper if she decides to to head down that track so with the books what I've done is I've just um, I've done one with grid um, each one has a pocket at the front and I've just put some more cards in there so the first book has just um, your grid gridded lines um, so the second one I've actually um, just done with plain paper um, and some colored paper to match in with the the color of the cover and the books that I've included so on here you can see another extra band here so I've piggybacked that plastic case onto that that notebook there here's an um, into the third elastic um, just another cover sorry another pocket um, this book is actually all lined so all the signatures I've um, hand sewn in and then on the last elastic um, I've used this paper here this cardstock here to make an address book an address book and a birthday book so um, just some gift cards or gift tags that she can use if she's got um, someone's birthday coming up so this actually um, I was excited about doing this so what I've done is I've just got name address details so that she can put email address or detail you know any details personal details she wants to put there and birthday so um, so that's I think there's I think I from memory worked out there's about um, space for 40 names and addresses and what I've done is I've actually purposely not printed on the back because I wanted to make um, a pocket on each page 
so that um, she can place some gift tags or greeting cards in each page to coincide with that person's birthday so she can put it in there and go well that's for such and such's birthday I'll keep that in there if she's anything like me if I see a cute card or I decide I want to make a card um, I do that in advance so this is a good way to actually either purchase the card in advance when you see it um, or making the card and popping it in there and just keeping it for safekeeping because I, I as I said I do that quite often is I'll buy purchase a card with someone in mind and I'll put it in a safe place and to this day I still don't know where that safe place is so I just thought that might be um, a little added extra the only thing is I don't know how it's just photocopy weight paper I don't know how that will hold up but um, as I said she's a good friend of mine so I'll get her to just see how that goes and I can print it off on um, some stronger heavyweight card and do the same sort of thing if she likes that idea so that's basically it um, as I said I absolutely love it so I'm going to make one for myself um, in different different colors um, and I don't know I'll see whether I actually make them at, excuse me put them on my made it store I'm not not decided on that yet but um, yeah I think that she'll enjoy planning um, her days, her weeks, she actually has a um, an online um, business, she's a creator as well and her um, Facebook page or Instagram is me and Lee creations. Um, so if you want to check her out, go and see her beautiful creations that she makes. Um, I've got numerous number of her beautiful pouches that she, um, clutches sorry, that she makes. So. Hopefully she'll love this um, and as I said I'm off to go and make my own. Thanks for watching guys, see you later, bye bye.